Hey guys, it's me again. Um, today we're going to be learning about resultant vectors. So meaning um, the addition of two vectors, vector addition. And how to find that resultant component or um, the solution when you add two vectors together. So, what is a vector? A vector is defined as a quantity that has two components. Those are the components are magnitude, so some value, some number value, and direction. So it's important to understand where your vectors are pointing. And those are the two components that make up a vector. If it doesn't have those two, two components, it's not a vector. For example, if it only has a quantity, such as age or <clears throat> your weight, there's no direction to your weight. Well, there's no direction to your age, really, right? And it's not pointing north-south, so that makes it a scalar quantity. Um, in terms of velocity, you have a quantity, let's say 5 meters per second, and it's pointing in, you know, you could be going east, west, north. That's your direction. Okay, so now we have two vectors here. Actually, before that, let me just write, write down the components, because it's really important to remember. So direction and magnitude okay so we have two vectors here as you can see I don't know if, how well the you can see the colors but this one's green and it's sort of hard to see the arrow over here but it's pointing it's pointing this way and then we have the blue arrow which is pointing upward right so we know the direction of these so visually, if we add if we add a vector that's pointing up and pointing um, to the left, wh where would the other vector be? In the middle, sort of like that, pointing that way, right? So we can sort of draw the resultant vector. I'll just do it by hand since it's a little faster. like that. However, this is sort of hard to visualize like that uh, when the two heads are meeting. So what I suggest is that you draw it so uh, one head is touching one tail of the vector. This is the tail of the vector, this is the head of the vector, where the arrow is, that shows the direction. So something cool with vectors is that you can extend it how how far you want like so the arrow could be really long or really short so this we can equate it to this as long as it's pointing in the same direction then it's the same vector so we have this going up All right let's draw this again right so remember, I said that we should join one head with the tail. So we know the green is going th that way. So how would we draw this? Well, we want the tail to touch there. So what I would do, this is how I would visualize it. Like that. Right? And then the resultant vector over here can join from the tail, from the first vector we draw, we drew to the head of the second vector, right? This is our resultant, and it's the same direction, correct? Same vector. It will if you have the same um, values, it'll give you the same value for the resultant. So we could draw this one more. Let's think of another way. Um, oh. So, since we know this is going to the side, right, what can we do? We want to join it up with the tail of the other vector. So, it could be like this, right? And then the resultant would be this. Okay. So, like I was saying before, you can you can 
have vectors, you can extend them as long as you want. As you can see, the direction for each of these, when you add these vectors, this is that's what we're doing. This is the whole process. You, when we add these vectors, you get that resultant, and it's the same direction for all three. So let's say if we establish a value here. Let's say we say this is 20. No, sorry, this is four. Some, some easy stuff. This is five, and we want to know this, the resultant. What do we do? Well, if we draw it like this, we have a right angle triangle, correct? This is our right angle right here, 90 degrees. So we have 5, 4. And how do we get C squared or C? Well, Pythagorean's theorem. So I could write that down here. Um, 4 squared plus 5 squared equals C squared. So, um, this is equal to 400 C equals C squared. Square root this to get rid of the square root. C equals 20. So the resultant vector value, the magnitude of this vector is 20. Right? Now since we have the, um, this value, we could find the direction of it. And we have all the other sides. In my last video, it shows you how to find angles. These angles determine the direction of the vector. So, let's say if this is, is on a coordinate system, like this. Right? So it's going to be, and this is the origin. This is the angle we want, right? So, <clears throat> we need the, we can take the opposite over the hypotenuse to get this angle. So the opposite is sine, so, or so 5 is the opposite length, like we were saying, because we want this angle, 5 divided by 20 equals 0 0.25, second function, sine, and that gives you 16 degrees. So, 20, let's say 20 newtons, and 16 degrees away from, um, vertical. Oh, whoopsies. It's not 16 degrees, sorry, because this is 90 here. Right? So we add 16 plus 90. So 116 degrees. Whoa, I can't even add. 106. Just to make sure. Yeah. So hopefully you guys get that. I'm going to post another um, example. Um, well, just before I go, just as a review, what we've done is we've, you know, we established what or defined whatever vector is, direction, magnitude, and we saw multiple ways to draw it. So I always recommend using head to tail, tail to head, whatever, and drawing the resultant as the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle. What you're trying to do is form a right angle triangle, then we can do vector addition. Vector addition is figuring out the magnitude or the resultant vector through Pythagorean theorem, and then applying the trigonometric functions to find the direction.